Hello and welcome back to Infinite Roleplay. My name is Nelson, your totally immersed power gamer and m -m 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 map maker. Um, all right. So once again, we're delving right back into Incarnate. I know I did a video just recently, and this is pretty fast, but I wanted to play around with a few of the non, uh, you know, mapping features, um, the labeling things that they have in Incarnate. This was the same map that I had illustrated earlier today in the previous video. Um, as you can see, it has nice little uh, heaving sea, the stern sea, and you scroll down and you get the the heartless ocean. Um, yeah, so basically this is a thing uh, that I've noticed that uh, I kind of don't like. And that's these names and these little roundy arrow things are visible only when you have the notes tab uh, selected. Now that I enjoy. That's not a bad thing. But if you go up to say the text tab, now the little roundy arrow things do disappear, but the dots, these yellow dots, they stay there no matter where else that I am. And I just saved this map. Uh, no, that's not the one I saved. Let's save it. Open up the saved version so I can uh, show you. Now, those yellow dots, they're there. They're rendered. So when you save, you, you get these little dots on top of your cities. I don't like that. When you make your notes and you have the notes tab um, unticked, personally, I think that everything there should disappear. That way you could get a beauty shot of your map like this without the... That, to me, that's jarring. Those those little dots are... Yeah, they're, they're small, but they, they don't really feel subtle to me. They feel pretty jarring. Uh, and there's no reason they should be there because they're not they're not clickable you know there there's no way to interface with those little yellow dots until you click the note tool and when you do click the note tool the note title and these little roundy arrow things appear so all you gotta do is click it and it pops up now this particular functionality is beautiful. As you see, I clicked uh, Markle's field, and this thing opened up. I typed some uh, text there, Markle's field. The people of Marcus Field have come together to farm a foreign grain. Amber grain is used in a handful of fine and expensive ales. Marcus Field survives solely on the export of amber grain and import of goods from Lorchester. Yeah, that's nice, right? Cool. Now I can select Lorchester. I have some stuff on Lorchester. This is not a, well, initially not a real setting. I was just throwing some things together for testing purposes. Uh, you know, Pearl Shore, another farm. Notes come up. You know, Lundy, notes come up. Uh, Holivar's Tower, more notes. You know, it, it's, it's cool. It's great. Um, however, when I select any other tab, those names and those little roundy arrow things disappear, but they leave behind yellow dots. And in any other tab, there is no way to interface with those little yellow dots. So they serve no purpose, or no purpose that I've found, uh, for functionality. So I think, I feel, uh, as an artist, that these little yellow dots should not appear anywhere and that when you click the note tab everything that does appear when you click the note tab should still appear that is beautiful that functionality is great um, this being a, a browser based program and having all these maps and information stored in the cloud will be accessible wherever you can access the internet from access the internet from so that's wonderful that, um, in my opinion, even for some of us uh, seasoned DMs, map makers, fantasy cartographers, 
we could still use that even if we don't use the map generator for our you know very customized in-depth maps or whatever it's still good to have a over you know an overview map with just uh, this little functionality there it's just amazing the fact that I could just click anywhere, I'll, I'll click on Felmore, the window pops up with all the text describing whatever it is I want to describe happening in Felmore. Maybe the populace, the, the goods and services, the trades, the overview of, of Felmore. You know, whatever I want to type in there gets put there. And the same can go for if you select uh, objects, like uh, even here. Now, I can put a note anywhere, but objects have this tab where you can add a note. And the note just plops itself right on the object. It's beautiful. I love that functionality. It's awesome. I wish that functionality was also available for the text tool. Because if I click this, this text, the only option that's on the drop down menu is to delete the text. Now, if I could delete the text or have the option to automatically adding a note, then I could skip the step of going to the note tab, selecting there, and typing a bunch of stuff. You know, bunch of stuff. Now, the note doesn't need a title because I already have text. Oh, I added another note by mistake. Uh, this is another thing when notes are really close together they select together so I can't delete a single note I'd have to delete both of them and try again so for those of you uh, out there interested in using the tool know that bunch of notes okay I wrote down a bunch of notes go into the select functionality I can select that bunch of notes comes up close it I can move it around you know the stern C is right here I can just put it there so that when I select it I could put um, maybe some myths and legends of the stern C uh, maybe you know the local wildlife what kind of fish are there if there's a sea monster uh, where they roam you know any anything really and have that be relegated to the stern C specifically put all that information there so that when I click the note it'll show up uh, however same issue whenever you're on any other tab the yellow dot remains and serves no purpose in any other tab except for when you tab to the notes tab and then you get all the nice little roundy arrow markers and if I were to type in the note title, Stern C Legends, right? Then you would see that it pops up. Stern C Legends. And I can select the note, the legends pops up, blah, blah, blah. You know, which is nice. You can uh, maybe throw a note with a trade route, I guess. Uh, seasonal you know seasonal things I could drop down a note place a note for this lake you know blah blah lake blah blah lake uh, once a year during rainy season because everyone has a raining season the lake doubles in size right just whatever uh, so blah blah lake or you know um, seasonal blah blah lake uh, seasonal thingies I guess I don't know you know season thingies like what happens to that one area or region during the changing of seasons so that if you're building uh, an expansive in-depth um, world like if you have a lot of ideas and you want to put them all down without putting them in a, a huge text document if you don't have um, access to uh, a word, uh, word Microsoft Word where you could create PDFs that have bookmarks or anything you could still do that but the functionality of this program 
allows you to put a massive amount of information in neat, tidy little notes. You know, these are almost like post-it notes, but better. The only problem, again, is the fact that those little dots don't go away. To incarnate, please think about putting that in. Just have those little dots disappear when you're not on the notes tab. Other than that, the, the notes functionality is it's great. It's amazing. I can save uh, I can save a version of the map, you know, with the notes tab turned on. And this is a version of the map with the notes tab turned on. You get all the little titles, and uh, we can turn the notes tab off going to the text tab everything else but those little dots disappear but you can save a version and that could be your beauty shot of your map so you know you could give a version like this to your players where they can see the towns and whatnot and save a version like this uh, for access over the internet and you could just select your notes. Boom. Pearl Shaw. Olivar's Tower. All of that. It's amazing. It's great. It's wonderful. <laughs> but yet again, the little dots, it's driving me insane. But as long as you're not worried, uh, if you're a map creator and you're not worried about those jarring little dots and they don't bother you at all, then this is perfect for you. But incarnate, please get rid of the little dots. They make me sad. <laughs> really sad. Okay, not that sad, but... The little dots suck. But the notes function is awesome. And my name is Nelson. Totally Mars Power Game. This has been Infinite Roleplay. Thank you for watching. I hope you appreciate... Uh, the video if you have any questions comments suggestions let me know below in the comment section and until i see you ladies and gents next time peace